what's up everybody and welcome in to another tutorial video the last one we did was a proper tutorial for using OVR advanced settings and the height offset and the height toggle and seeing other toggles for like turning and things like that this is a tutorial on how to use the other accessibility VR software that is on Steam for Steam VR PC VR games and that one is walk-in VR so let's hop into that first thing we got to do is launch walk-in VR and then that will bring you in to Steam VR don't launch Steam VR first all righty we're in steam vr right now and you guys aren't seeing uh vr at the moment you're probably seeing my cursor go around that is because first this is walk-in vr right here now you will see two things well you see multiple things but you'll see i'm using the quest 2 so it does have Quest 2 left controller, Quest 2 right controller. What you're gonna wanna do is go to system. You're gonna wanna go either to menu, uh, like the menu button, I guess, B and Y, or the menu button and then A and X. So it would, you if it's your left controller, it'd be Y or X. Um, and you want to go boom we'll put it on the left controller and then we will uh we'll put it for y and then we'll set that to we'll set that to rotate and then we'll go to the right controller we'll put that at y and then we'll set that to our b and then we'll set that to move now let's hit start walk-in vr is running but now you are seeing steam vr you're seeing my steam vr thing which is like old retro sim city kind of stuff looks really cool but now let me hold the y button and I don't know if you see the little camera. It look kind of reminds me of a camera. But I'm holding the Y button. And when I move my controller left, which you could technically do with your wrist and just let go. But when I move my controller to the left, I turn right. When I move it to the right, I turn left. Let me center that, or at least try. And then I let go, and it's fully gone. Now, because we set the right controller to move, let me hold down the B button. And when I hold the B button and go up and bring the controller down, we go up and when i go up with the put the controller up we go down when i go left we you know and you can move you can go forward i'm going forward away from the designated play square this i'm fully seated this is amazing this is an amazing thing and again this is the move and or the rotate this is to move and all the games that say that you can't play seated you essentially can with this now there is this is free this is a free app or free software on steam that you can get you can go grab it 
Um, and it will say on there, and maybe you noticed it when I was showing you what it looks like on the desktop and how to set everything up. Is that there is like a little thing that, you know, says here you're using the free version. Sometimes in the headset, uh, a thing will pop up, or at least when you first start it, or right there, it'll happen every now and again. It'll pop up saying that you're using the free version of walk-in VR, and then it, it stays up, it goes away. It's not really that big of an issue. Um, but the reason that I'm going to mention that in this is because there is a, I believe it's $30, uh, 30 USD, I think. Um, and it's kind of like a, a, a way of supporting them because this is an awesome software. I, a lot of times will use OVR advanced settings. Honestly, I may start using this. Um, but yeah, if you buy, if you do the $30, I think is what it is to support the creators of this, then that will go away. You will no longer have that popping up and it is an amazing thing. If there were ever any VR games, you were like, oh, I can't can't play it the, you have more of a chance of doing that now especially being able to pull your essentially pull yourself towards something pull yourself away and you could even like do that with just wrist movement like I'm turning with just wrist movement and stuff like that. My right wrist isn't the best, or otherwise I would show you. You could move to and from things in game without that much movement. You then probably wouldn't need a ton of arm mobility for certain things. Single player games, you could probably play almost any, uh, probably a very huge amount of them with this. That is amazing. That is awesome. And um this yeah, it's it's huge. I, I don't know more to say about it. And also let me pull the uh pull this away again. Sorry about that. If you guys were seeing double and you're like, what the heck? Uh you're probably seeing multiple things here. You turn off the Steam VR view again. And bring this back up. Yeah, you can get the premium thingy to support them. And it takes away the thing that I told you about. But what I wanted to show. You could have somebody outside of the headset itself. Uh, use an Xbox controller to help you in game. They could see on the monitor what you're playing and they could actually use a controller to help you to then continue to make games possible for you to play. That is absolutely amazing. I'm going to keep saying it. Uh, motion. You can go into all of this. Like, and again, this will help with everything. I have not enough time in the day to probably teach myself all of this. But this is absolutely amazing. And then, yeah, just... I could, I could go on forever. <laughs> I could absolutely go on forever. But... I'm going to end this here. I don't know how m how much more of this I could possibly gush about. But like I said, it's free. Go get it. Or tell somebody about it who you think it could help. And much like OVR Advanced Settings, this is free. And just like that one, this is also amazing. This could possibly help even more than what that one does. 
So tell people, tell people about it. And if this tutorial or any of anything that I've done has helped you or it could help anyone that you know, give them the link that's always at the top of the description to dutydoes.com. My ex VR and non-VR accessibility website. We have tutorials on there. We have uh, video overviews. There are like over 50 video overviews for accessibility for games. We have over, I think getting close to or breaking 90 VR games that I have tested and done notes for it. And I'm always trying to update them and improve them. And as well as some non VR games, I'm slowly integrating them as well for accessibility. But yeah, if all of that is good to you, please give somebody that link. If you think it could help them. I run the website and do all these videos for all of you beautiful people. No other reason than that. So yeah, hopefully this helps. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.